What's up, guys? Hang up with the fourth here, back with another banger. And today, I'm going to be doing a recap of the most recent Best Buy drop that happened on April 15th, giving you all of the important information about it, including when it started, how long it lasted, and what came and went. I'll also in this video be giving a little bit more information about the restocking of Radeon cards and how that fits into this drop. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the AMD information. So over the past few weeks, AMD has been restocking all of their Radeon graphics cards on their direct buy website, which I'll have linked in the description below. Usually they restock them on Thursdays, but this last week they actually took Thursday off and dropped them on Friday, Friday afternoon at about 3.15 p.m. Eastern. And in the past few weeks and prior to that, they usually drop them between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern. So right around that that lunchtime. And when they do restock, they drop every card in their new 6000 series lineup. And that includes this, the new 6800 XT Midnight Black Edition that they just released a few weeks ago. So if you're looking to pick one of those up, be sure to set some notification through Distill or Discord and be prepared on Thursday and Friday of each week as those seem to be the likely days that they do restock. Now, I missed this Friday's drop in particular, which is why I can't go into detail on how long it lasted. But the reason why I missed it was because I was checking the day before, Thursday the 15th. Remember I said they usually drop on Thursdays? I was checking Thursday the 15th. And when I was checking that day, I got word that the Best Buy drop was happening around that time, around 11.56 a.m. Eastern. So right around that time, I hurried up and went on the West on the um, Best Buy's website and they they had restocked. It was, it was true. And the Best Buy drop, it started at around 11.56 a.m. Eastern, so right before noon, and it lasted about 15 minutes. Now, what was weird about this drop in comparison to the last ones is that in this one, they dropped the AIB cards a minute or two before the Founders Edition cards. Um, you saw the EVGAs. I think I saw some Gigabytes. It was mostly EVGA and like the ASUS Tough cards and the Strixes and stuff like that. And then minutes later, they the Founders Editions came. And also on top of that, the 3060 Ti Founders Edition card never restocked. It was only the 3070, 3080, and 3090. The drop went pretty quickly, and it did have some of those quote-unquote restock waves that people talk about in the chat that lasted maybe 30 seconds or so. Um, but I've never seen someone get from get anything from those restocks, so I don't really even count those. Um, luckily, though, I was in the right place at the right time because the bot didn't really catch the drop. It didn't send out notifications until 11.59 a.m., so that was about three minutes later. And I'm not sure if I would have been able to get anything if I was delayed by those three minutes. And just to let you guys know what I did personally, um, during the drop, I loaded up all the tabs for all the separate AIB cards that were being posted in the chat around that time. And then I opened up my saved items tab on Best Buy and I started adding the Founders Edition cards to my tabs. And after a few minutes, I was able to snag a Founders Edition card, a Founders Edition 3070, and I checked out at 12.04 p.m., so I'll be eight minutes into the drop. And I used regular email verification and one Chrome window on the PC, as I usually do. No extra windows, no incognito, no SMS, just regular tabs, add to cart, do email, uh, put in the code, check out with the credit card. No PayPal either, straight, straight saved credit card through my account, so it's a lot quicker. Um, and I'm really excited to be able to get this card because now... I can finally mine on my 3080 permanently. I can have it running 24 seven and play games on the 3070 without having to turn off the mining software. And I can mine on the 3070 when I'm not playing games. So that's pretty cool. And that's all in all of the information about the last Best Buy drop. Uh, if you did catch the notification for it, let me know in the comment section below how it went for you. Did you get anything? Uh, was it slow? Was it lagging? Let me know how it went for you in the comments below. And if you didn't catch it, I wish you best of luck in the future. And be sure to join a stock discord from one of the ones that I have listed in the description of my how to buy RTX cards video. It should be somewhere on the screen or in the top right. And turn on notifications so you'll be prepared for the next drop. Or you can even set up distill manually to set those notes up yourself. And I will be making an updated tips and tricks video that will be coming in the next few days because the information on my last video is a bit outdated. And I want to keep you guys updated with what's going on if you don't have time to stay in the chat and learn about it. So if you're interested in that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when it goes live. And if you enjoyed this recap vid, hit that like button to support the channel. With that being said, I'm Henry Gobble the fourth. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this video. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.